friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ave Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I am going to be doing a paint my nails with me video and I feel like it has been a hot minute since I did one of these. I don't know, the last one was maybe in May? I don't remember if I did one in June, but um, I'm just gonna kind of hang out and chat today and catch you up on what's been going on in the last couple months uh, in my life on my channel. I am not gonna do any Topic Tuesdays today, honestly, because I just didn't prepare any answers, uh, but we're gonna hang out and chat about these products. I usually prep my nails off camera, so just to kind of walk you through what I do, I remove my nail polish, I use acetone, and then I've been using this buffing block this one is, I honestly think it's almost gone. I have a backup and I just don't want to throw this one away if it has any life left in it. But I usually buff just nails that have a little bit of peeling. So like this one has been giving me some trouble recently. And so I'll just buff it so that, you know, none of the layers kind of come up. And I think it's made a really big difference in my routine. Buffing, I feel like I'm getting way less peeling because the layers are not coming apart if that makes sense. Um, like I'm smoothing them out so that they stay all together. So this buffing block has made a big difference for me. I bought this one at Ulta, but you know, you can buy these everywhere. So I love this. And then after I remove my polish and I buff, I have been using the Orly Cuticle Therapy Cream. I don't use this as often as I use the Bliss Kiss. I probably only use it like really when I sit down to do my nails or like if I'm swatching. This is pretty intense stuff, but it really just like my cuticles look so much better than they did 20 minutes ago. This stuff is amazing. It's really intense. Um, it's kind of hard to apply because it's like this, you know, really deep jar. So I always get it like under my nails. So this is not something that I would like keep in my backpack and put on at work. Um, definitely I use my Bliss Kiss for like out and about. This is really just kind of when I'm sitting down and doing my whole manicure thing. And then as always, I put my base coat on off camera to try and save us a little bit of time here. Although now I've talked about these products so much that I probably haven't saved us any time. Um, I am actually out of my nail strengthener from Orly. It is like, there's nothing. Can you even see? Yeah, there's nothing left in there. <laughs> there's like a tiny bit that the brush doesn't even reach. So I need to get another one. Um, and I just have not had time. So I have been using the Naked Base from Zoya. And I've actually kind of been alternating between this and the Orly for the last several weeks. And I, I actually really like this. I feel like it's been kind of good to mix it up. So even when I replace the Orly, I might go back to alternating, you know, every other manicure. Um, this one is supposed to do, I don't I don't know, something good for you. Okay, so the website says, the Naked Manicure Naked Base is a nutrient-rich formula specifically curated to refine the nail surface and to treat damage with a proprietary blend of vitamins, proteins, botanicals, and sulfur amino acids that mimic the natural keratin structure of the nail. Um, this is vegan. The proteins, etc., that it talks about are all plant-based. So this is vegan, um, and obviously it's cruelty-free because it's Zoya. So I like this one. Um, I don't know that I've noticed a difference in longevity in my manicure, to be honest, but uh, it definitely has been, you know, as good or better maybe than the Orly Nail Strengthener. So I'm happy with those two products. All right, and today I am painting with Heidi, which is one of their more orange leaning corals. It's a pretty bright one. And I, if I'm gonna wear a coral, I kind of prefer to wear a more orange leaning coral. They're definitely my preference. Too pink for me is not really my style. And I've worn several corals <laughs> so far this month. Um, I, I just really enjoy them. I think the, not the last polish that I wore, but the last polish that you would have seen me wear, like that I was in a video wearing, was uh, a positive correlation from Orly. I think I was wearing that in my uh, sensual collection comparisons video that just went up recently. So you've seen me wear coral fairly recently, and that was not the only other coral that I wore this month, I'm pretty sure. And I did just take off, I was wearing one of the new Cirque holographic polishes. I was wearing Citrine, which is kind of the orangey, mustardy, goldenrod one. And I have a little bit of glitter kind of like around my nails. So if you see that reflecting in the camera, I apologize. I did my best to get it off. And it's off all my nails, but it's on my skin a little bit, you know? That's how it goes. Okay. So tomorrow, well, not tomorrow today, but tomorrow when you watch this video or when this video gets posted, tomorrow will be August. I'm filming this on Monday night, so it's a couple nights before August for me, but for you, if you watch this today that I posted, it will be tomorrow. 
and I cannot believe it. I feel like this summer has just absolutely flown by, and yet in other ways it has been like four summers. Do you know, I don't know, I feel like sometimes when you have really intense experiences or things that take up a lot of your time, it can both feel very fast and very short at the same time. Um, so I uh, started a new job in June, which I think um, some of you probably know because I, I definitely shared that I was starting it. And I'm working now at a nonprofit that is kind of education adjacent. We like support teachers in schools. And we have a like summer training program. And that's Basically, my whole job is to kind of coordinate logistics and operations for that program. And so I will now spend this year, the next like 10 months or so, kind of preparing for that program, training our staff, um, hiring our staff, etc. But when I started was like three days before the actual program started. I had done a little bit of planning to prepare, but not a ton. Um, you know, I had worked in the spring, but it was not my full-time job. I had another job. So I had done some part-time work in the spring to prepare, but like I said, other people were doing it as well. All right, did my thumbs off camera. It's been a while, but I know how to do this. Uh, and so I started kind of like the week before the program started, like before all of our people moved in and before summer school started. So I started my job a week before the program started. And so then I dove in and I did that program for seven weeks and now it's over and I'm home. I've been home for like three days and it's kind of crazy. Um, so this program, I live um, away from my house anywhere between like 50 to 75 percent of the week and it's not far like, I could come home but there are things that I need to do there in the evenings or really really early in the morning and you know we have a lot of people kind of living in this residential program and so it's important to have some of us available so I came home about every two or three days for a night and part of the reason why I did that was because my husband has actually been living in another city for the summer. Um, he's having a blast. He's doing a summer work program that he really loves. It's related to, he's a teacher during the school year and it's kind of related to what he teaches during the school year and he just like learns a ton. He's getting a ton of professional development and he did it last summer as well and he's just, he absolutely loves it and it's so fun. He's living with friends of ours in this other city and it's just, it's a really great opportunity for him. But he's been gone for six weeks and he has two more weeks. And so I was kind of coming home um, from the summer program that I was working at uh, so that I could take care of our cats because my husband was in here. Um, and then I was, you know, like sleeping here and then going back to work. So it was kind of intense. Um, our cats were left alone probably more than I would have liked, but you know, they're fine now. They're very happy that I'm home all weekend that I was home. They were so snuggly and I don't know, everybody survived, but it was just a really, really long summer. Um, like just really intense. There was a lot of kind of coordinating logistics, you know, um, trying to like get home so that I could take out the trash on the right night or whatever. It was, it was a lot. Um, and I'm really glad that my summer program's over, but I had a blast. I love my new job. I'm really happy that it's what I'm doing and I can't wait to spend this year planning and getting ready for next year. But um, this summer was just kind of a lot. My husband also decided that he will probably not do the summer program again next year. And he might look for something similar closer to home, which makes sense, especially I think now that I have this job that's really intense in the summer, it would be nice um, for us to be able to kind of split some of the housing stuff, some of the housing responsibilities. All right, so I I am done with my second coat. Um, I did my thumb second coat. I just need to do a little bit of cleanup. I have a little bit here and on my thumb here. Uh, so I'm gonna do that uh, real quick. All right, it has been so long since I did one of these. I literally can't remember if I even showed my e.l.f. brush in the last one, but this is what I use to clean up. I use the e.l.f. concealer brush. I think I bought like three of them maybe like a year ago. This is still the first one. I just like don't use it that often and I try to wash it out when I do use it. So I feel like it's lasted a really long time. I'm very happy. I bought them at Target. I know you can get them pretty cheap at Walmart as well and on the Elf website sometimes, but I got mine at Target just because that's where I happened to be when I was looking for them. I actually changed my mind. I just got the Cirque top coat and I've only used it once and I wanna use it again. I got it, they did a promo where if you bought, I don't remember, $50 something worth of polish, you would get a free top coat. And so I did 
got the free top coat. I'd never tried it before. I've only tried it once. So I'm going to use this one. The polish that I have, this is the Magic Mirror Quick Dry Top Coat. I love this top coat. It's super thick and it's super glossy. It dries really, really fast. I like this one a lot, but it starts pretty thick and it's gotten a little bit goopy. And so I kind of want to save this one for if I'm wearing like a polish with some glitter in it, because I think it'll do a really good job of kind of eating it up. The Cirque one is a little bit thinner, so I'm going to use the Cirque one. Um, so anyways, I just told you a very long story about my summer. I think the part of that that relates to my channel is that it was honestly just hard for me this summer, especially in July, to film videos. I wasn't home that much, and that's obviously where all of my stuff is. Um, I'm gonna film my what I wore in July soon, now that it's pretty much August tomorrow. And I just think, you know, I did paint my nails a bunch. I brought nail polish with me and I brought remover, and so I did paint my nails a bunch. But filming videos was really hard, which, you know, makes sense. Obviously my stuff wasn't with me, I wasn't living here, and so I would do some on the weekends, but also with my husband being away, when he was home on the weekends, all I wanted to do was hang out with him. <laughs> and I didn't really wanna be, you know, holed up in my room by myself painting my nails. So. I definitely did not post as many videos. I had kind of planned ahead for June and had pre-planned some, had pre-planned, woof, some videos in June, but I just like hadn't done enough to get all the way through July. And so I, I just feel like I was not uh, kind of on top of my game, but I also feel like, you know, it's important to remember your priorities. And as much as I love my channel, um, obviously spending time with my husband was my priority and my full-time job needs to be my priority. So I'm really glad to be back now. I'm glad to kind of like get back into the swing of filming videos and have a regular schedule. I do think I'm gonna stick to two videos a week. I have been doing three videos a week for a little while now. And I think I'm gonna stick to two videos just cause it is, it's a lot to do three videos a week. And I really kind of in this new job wanna make sure that I'm focusing on balance and taking care of myself and and my home and my relationship so i'm gonna be doing two videos a week but i feel like that's not that much of a difference from three videos a week so i think we'll still have plenty of time to hang out together um awesome thanks for hanging out with me and listening to this life update i hope that if anything you liked this polish it's super super orange but it is coral let me oh man how can i prove to you that it's coral like okay here it is next to pos can you see how purple it how purple hi, hi, hi. can you see how pink it is Oh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to, the camera is hard to catch it, but it is definitely not orange. It's definitely coral. All right. Well, my cats are wrestling behind me, so I think that's my sign that it's time to go. Thanks so much for chatting with me, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.